they really brought the magic. <laughs> What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where I'll be discussing the topic of Serato Sample. I've been wanting to review this product for some time now since it went to 1.3 version. I was in the beta group for their initial version and then subsequently for 1.3. And I gotta say, I am so happy with not only the timing of this, but the output of the product. Uh, being a person that works in Logic, I was very disappointed when Apple removed the Apple Loops program because I would use that to chop and cut samples and loop them in the AIF format and I could just scroll through nicely and find the things that fit. And that sort of went away once, uh, I think after Catalina, they disabled uh, that utility and I hope they bring it back. But they brought this other thing in called Quick Sample and quite frankly, um, I just didn't like how it worked and if you're on Ableton it's a non-issue for you because the time stretching capabilities in Ableton are quite nice when working with audio and sampling so it's a non-issue for you but for me in Logic it was but I could tell you even though you're in Ableton and I'm not being paid to endorse the product I gotta give it up to Serato for this one they really brought the magic to this product it's uh, absolutely amazing I have a hip-hop background so I like to sort of chop samples up and do creative things with it. And this not only delivers that, but it does more. So let's jump into the details of it. All right, you might like my new highlighter here, but here again, I love Serato sample. These are my notes. I'm gonna step you through each point, so don't skip ahead, but it's just very important. So let's give this thing a listen, which you know leads to my first point uh, in terms of it being easy to use. I literally dragged and dropped a sample in here, and then I click Find Samples, and it just chopped up, as you can see here, all these you know nice little chops that I got here across the entire sample. Simple, easy to use, and because it's easy to use, I could just get right into you know, each of the components of the sample. So let's listen to what I did here. Let me get my notes back up. Let's play the track. Pretty groovy track, right? And all of this is Serato sample. You know, got the main loop, and then I just heard the bass line that was underneath it that out nicely to the baseline. I'm going to finish this one today on the Patreon stream and if you are on Patreon you're getting a first exclusive look at this video before anybody else does and that's the other you know 800 and almost 70 subscribers who don't get a look at this video. If you're on Patreon you're watching this straight ahead and much love and respect to you guys. You know Amber, Scooby, uh, JP, uh, Jason, Punts, a whole lot of you, and my main man Steve in the Elite tier as well. So check it out if you want to learn a bit more about Patreon. Check it out at patreon.com, Demir Official. But first and foremost, it is so simple and easy to use. Then my next piece is the time stretch capability. I mean, you could hear this thing, but I'll demo it for you. I'll just play one of the chops. Muted, my bad, here. So that's with it just time stretch and synced up. I'm gonna remove the time stretch. So very seamless, like you're not hearing crazy artifacts in it. And this is one of the things I love about this tool being a logic user. Ableton has such a strong capability in time stretching. I was like, man, I wanna be able to 
chop samples up and not worry about time stretching. And Serato Sample allows you to do that. Here's the um, other cool thing uh, about you know Serato Sample. Once you get the sample in here and, and you told it to find certain samples, you can grid them. It goes right across the board in terms of even as far as I think it's telling you, yeah, the, the bars. So as you see me scrolling along here, these numbers show what it believes is the bar in the sample against the time stretch tempo, which is super cool. Um, you might have noticed when I was um, playing the loop, play it again. So it's moving along, you can freeze it just to see what part of, the, you know, what that chop is doing within the loop. Really cool time stretching capability. I just love the thing. The next point is seamless MIDI. You know, I'm triggering this thing through my Native Instruments machine uh, pad. You know, I'm pressing this and this brings me back to like an MPC feel. If you're used to that sort of thing where, you know, you'd easily just, you know, hit each piece and figure out what chops you wanted. It brings me back to that. But the great thing about the seamless MIDI here, it's whatever uh, piece of MIDI kit it's focused on, like I could trigger it from here. And if it's got MIDI going in, the keyboard can trigger the unit as well. So seamless MIDI is dope. The other thing that's cool about Serato Sample is that you always know what key you're in. So we're in F major here, and I use this heavily in the building of my um, sample pack for Loop Masters. So whatever I created, I would just do the loop, drop it in here, and it immediately tell me the key. Super dope. The next piece is there is boundless creative opportunity. So I want to use this sample as an example. You know, if I can find it, you know, because all of the chops here, here's the example. So I could literally shift the key by a couple of octaves and still stay, you know, in the right timing and then trigger another piece. So that's what I did for this loop. So that, do, 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 that is shifted by a couple of uh, semitones. Uh, because I just thought it would sound cool, you know, so instead of being like do, 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 I was able to get that first chop to go bo, bo, do, boom, and then move over to the next key seamlessly uh, So I think Serato sample is super dope. You can zoom in do a lot of cool things here with each chop You know as I said, you know what key you're in you could also show whether you want to trigger things in a mono or a poly capability so I could go on for days, but this is just the high level overview. If you're in Logic and you're looking for a great sample utility that time stretches things very seamlessly, works well with MIDI, enables huge creativity, this is the product for you and I'm not getting paid to say this whatsoever. I just enjoy the thing and it's now part of my regular workflow. And there you have it. Those are my thoughts on Serato Sample. Dive in, let me know your thoughts, comments. I usually jump into the conversation within 48 hours of posting these videos, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Much love and respect to you. Peace. Just can't stop it. Just can't stop it.